Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to take apart, disassemble, uh, clean and reassemble your Remington Versamax. Uh, all semi-automatic shotguns like this one here are relatively all the same. They all have the same roughly interior parts and more importantly they're the same to take apart. They may look a little differently, but I assure you that it's going to be the same. So if you're watching this and you have a different shotgun other than a Remington Versamax, uh, fear not, you'll be more than okay to watch this video. So first and foremost, you're going to want to get some Q-tips. Just a handful of Q-tips, four or five or six, however many you need, depending on how dirty your shotgun is. And a handful of paper towels for later and a barrel cleaner. This is simply just a wooden, uh, circular wooden stick that I have in the garage and I attached a paper towel to the end of it. Uh, they do make special barrel cleaners to clean barrels of your shotgun. This does the exact same thing just using what I have. So first to disassemble your shotgun, you're gonna wanna take this nut and unscrew it comes right off. Next, the stock handle will slide right off just by removing that nut. There's nothing really to clean inside of here. Uh, it's, there's no moving part. It's simply for your hand to hold on to. But feel free, use a paper towel. In fact, I will. I'll use a paper towel. Just wipe out the grit and dirt that's gotten in there. As you can see, there was some dirt and stuff in there. Next, the barrel. The barrel simply slot pulls right out with that, and I'll show you how to clean the barrel and clean and oil the pistons here as well. But now the most tricky part is the trigger assembly. So the trigger assembly here, you can see the firing pin where that little hole is. That's where the that's where the pin shoots out to strike the primer of your shotgun shell, and it discharges the round. So you're gonna to wanna to push this in. As you can see, it just slides in and out like that. You're gonna to wanna to push this in, remove the hammer bolt, pops right out. You gotta give it a little bit of pressure and it'll pop right out. Now, this will slide, this will slide right out. Perfect. Now, now that you just have a raw frame here, there's really nothing else that you can do here with this. Uh, sometimes you can take a paper towel and wipe out all the grit and grime and stuff that's just gotten onto the inside. Be very careful not to rip your paper towel on the inside and leave chunks of it floating around because that can uh, really hurt the performance of your shotgun when you're out in the field hunting birds or whatever you are hunting that day. So that's fine, set that aside. Next, we're gonna to go to the trigger assembly. You're gonna to wanna to take one of your Q-tips and just pretty much rub this whole thing down. You're just gonna to wanna, to, just all the little nooks and crannies, take your time, there's no race in this. And you're just gonna keep, you're just gonna clean every little piece. Where the bolt hammer goes through, you can even shove the Q-tip through there, pull it back through, as you can see that was pretty gross inside. Just take it. Rub the entire thing down. So now you can see that the cute is very nasty. This trigger assembly is very clean now. It'll work perfectly fine once I reassemble it. And so we're done with that. Next I would take a paper towel and for your bolt inside, just simply rub down the threads on the inside that screw it in. See, it was pretty nasty too inside. It's amazing how dirt and stuff can get into all this little stuff, but especially if you're hunting in inclement weather, rain or snow, sleet, um, it really gets gummed up and I recommend cleaning it after every hunt that you have in inclement weather like that. And this, you can rub this down as well. There's nothing really to it. There's a little bit of stuff on it, but that's fine. Now we're gonna go to the barrel. 
The barrel is not that tricky. You're simply gonna take your rod, get the paper towel onto the inside of the barrel. Kind of corkscrew it in and just feed it all the way through until it comes out the other side. Now you can see that barrel was filthy. A lot of dirt and stuff in there. Now if you take a look through it, take a look through it, it's perfectly clean. It's really good. Now we're gonna clean the pistons on the inside. The pistons are right here. These two pieces, they slide in and out, they won't come out. So I just like to take a Q-tip and rub all the gunk off of them. So now once your Q-tip, or I'm sorry, once your pistons are completely clean, now it's time to oil your shotgun. Um, this here is just handyman oil. It is rated for guns and stuff. You can use special gun oil. Just about any kind of oil will work. Uh, motor oil, hand, just the standard household oil. Uh, I would not, however, recommend using food-based oils like canola oil, vegetable oil, uh, olive oil, stuff like that. Um, so what you're going to take first is your trigger assembly here. And you can see there's a lot of moving parts on it. You're going to simply drop a drop down the firing pin hole. Just a drop, that's all you need. And then in here, that sliding section as well, you're going to want to put a few drops down in there. Work it in a little bit. Just click it back and forth. A few drops around the, the neck of it and then what you're going to want to do is just take a q-tip and kind of spread it around and this oil will actually pick up any other little dirt particles that were on there and it will come up onto your q-tip as well so i like to oil this whole thing down get it real nice and clean rub it down with some oil now that is clean now what you can do you can just drop oil straight onto the pistons that's fine. I prefer to put, put the oil on a Q-tip. And from there, I like to rub it on. It doesn't waste as much oil and you don't create nearly as much of a mess doing it as well. So rub these pistons down. Rub them down with some oil. So you can see that got a lot more grit and grime off of that. Now the other side, I'll just put some oil, put some more oil on it. And then I like to oil the inside of this here as well. This is where the shotgun shell is held when there's one in the chamber. And uh, there's a little tiny spring here as well that helps with the ejection. But as you can see up here, this is the area that gets hit by weather a lot and there's some water trapped up in there, hence it rusted a tiny bit. I like to just rub, some, clean it, and just rub some oil over the top of it. Oil will help it prevent it from rusting even farther. So you can see there's a little orange tint to it, a little bit of rust that was left on it. So now, with another Q-tip, I like to oil the threads on the inside of this as well. It just helps with taking it on and off it's a lot easier. So you just rub some oil on those threads. Makes for take for disassembling the shotgun a lot easier, especially if you have to do it out in the field. So now your shotgun is all clean and it's ready to be reassembled. So first it has to go back in is the trigger assembly. Simply will slide right into place. And then your hammer, th your hammer bolt you're going to want to push this in again, push it in, and it'll click into place just like that. Now you're going to want to slide it back and lock it, 
lock, it'll, it's locked, it won't slide forward into the lock position. You're gonna put your barrel back on. The holes will, it'll line right up and it'll slide simply right back in. So you can see that fits snug right to the top. And from there, you put your handle stock, your hand grip stock back on. It's a little bit difficult, it takes a little bit of finagling to do. can be sometimes pretty tricky, uh, but you'll get it. Just have to keep working at it. So now you put the nut back on. That holds everything back into place. Uh, you do not want to over tighten this nut at all, especially if you have to disassemble your gun in the field. You just want to tighten it down with your hand as much as possible. And you def definitely do not want to tighten it down with a wrench at all. Uh, simply because if you do have to disassemble this gun in the field, you will not probably have a wrench on you to take it off. So there is your clean Remington Versamax. As you can see, it's running, running very smoothly. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more gun cleaning tips and some hunting advice. Uh, thank you, everybody. Have a nice day.